We got a whole weekend ahead of us, and the weekend definitely feels like it's upon us. I may be getting a little ahead of myself, but it's already Friday in my mind, so we're in luck because we got a bunch of smart suggestions, probably enough for a couple of weekends at least, from the director of Buzzin' uh, Brooklyn Buzz, the Buzzin' director is here himself, Mr. Stan Parham. Welcome back to BK Live. Thanks sir. for having me once so, again. So uh, for those who don't know, I don't know how many are left out there, give us an overview review of what Brooklyn Buzz does on the daily when you're not here. Uh, well, we're a uh, society, cultural, uh, we talk about any range from new restaurants to fashion to what's buzzing in Brooklyn, um, anything that's pertinent, primarily. All right, so you've got some suggestions for stuff that we could be doing this weekend. It's going to be cold. It's going to be a little romantical, maybe, if you're in for that Valentine's Day stuff. What's your first suggestion? Uh, well, we... Um, uh, we, we have a list. We have a list of places and, and things to do. Um, far as uh, live artists, R and B artists, uh, we got some jazz events, uh, just to suit everybody's need. Um, you know, ma major major indoor events. Um, yeah. Amachi, uh, the Amarachi Prime over yeah, that's what we're looking over, at now, right? over in that's Flatbush, over right right at the uh, the mouth of the Manhattan Bridge, and on Wednesdays they offer like five dollar power. Five dollar power, um, a whole mixture of drinks. Right. Um, it's five dollars, and it starts at five p.m. Uh, and they're going to be doing specials throughout the month with appetizers as well as uh, drinks. But tonight's the night. Get in there five at five. Go have a little after work drinky poo. Absolutely. Sounds Absolutely. good. So, how uh, do you differentiate? Brooklyn Buzz from the west of the the rest of the websites that are out there. What makes you guys have a little different take on things? Well, I have a personal relationship with the proprietors and the owners there as well, um, and we we just look for things that that's buzzing with, with, with a good vibe, very wholesome. Uh, the food has to be great as well, yeah. and because you, you want to go back as a repeat. Right. So, yeah. well, a good drink doesn't hurt either. Uh, yeah, you have, those has to have, them, have to have those two, three components. Yeah. Five dollars. All right, so mm -hmm. we're going from Amarachi Prime at the mouth of the tunnel down there to uh, what's next? Uh, we got uh, the AP uh, Cafe out here in the section, Bushwick section of Brooklyn. Okay. Uh, they offer a. Uh, uh, Fine coffees, teas. Uh, they have like uh, savoring pa pastries as well as uh, the atmosphere there is nice. They have a beautiful skylight. Yes. Um, the seating is, it's, and it's uh, uh, close to about two years old. So, so even on one of those cold, clear days, you can get all that nice sun filtering in when you're inside and it's freezing outside. Soup and grilled cheese to, nice. to warm up the soul. Wow, that's um, a good yeah, combo. That's, you can never go wrong with the grilled cheese and the soup. All right, moving on. BK9. Yeah, BK, what do they have? BK9 is in the historic Park Slope section here in Brooklyn. Okay. Um, just opened um, September of 2015. Huh. Uh, a Caribbean restaurant theme. Um, this weekend, they're going to be offering um, live R&B this Friday. Uh, showtimes is at 1030. Um, all of these things that I'm mentioning is on their sites as okay. well as on Brooklyn Buzz as well. Uh, yeah, so that's, you know, that that's a fairly new spot right mm -hmm. here. Right in the heart of Solar Park Slope. Very cool. And what's really good about Brooklyn Buzz, too, is that you guys don't just have tunnel vision and you stay in one neighborhood. There's spots all over the borough that, and like you had a Caribbean uh, sort of slant here. Right. There's the, what, the AP Cafe as well in Bushwick. So you can actually traverse the borough and sample different things in different sections. Yeah, the ultimate goal is to saturate all of Brooklyn. We want to have everyone under our umbrella at some point in time. Correct? All right, well, another place under that umbrella, Brooklyn Eats. Yeah, Brooklyn Eats is another great place here in Fort Greene, Brooklyn. Um, it's Brooklyn Eats Sports Bar. They offer, um, they have a, a, an extensive happy hour as well, uh, primarily sports of any kind there. Uh, Taki. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, you can probably go see that as well. Yeah. But particularly, um, it it offers uh, for 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 the kind for the kind and um, um, we we launch we launched our second year anniversary there so oh, yeah. so the relationship we have there is because 
you know, we, we, we go back and, and we right. continue to go you back. You recommend and, them, you're also yeah. a customer. Right, right, and, and, they love, and they love us there. So, I mean, that, and it's a great spot. Um, they've, they've been there um, close to two years, so, oh, wow. yeah, so those so are the there's relations. a lot of mix of new established, new and established places and people really getting a foothold and developing their language. Have you noticed any trends recently about the places that are coming on board and being successful where sort of the energy is? Well, they, they're, they're including all of the neighborhoods. So mm -hmm. it's they're, so they're neighboring. Um, so, you know, so you really want to step out of your neighborhood and go <laughs> into other neighborhoods, which, you know, that offer those yeah. varieties. So that, that's a great look as well. All right. So uh, Fusion. Oh, no. Brooklyn Moon. Yeah, Brooklyn so Moon. We said right. a mix of the new and the old. Yeah, well, Why? Well, well, well those we can are things. rediscover Brooklyn Moon. Right. Brooklyn Moon. And, you know, we try to capitalize on anything that's Brooklyn, you know, related. And Brooklyn Moon, in particular, this is their 21st year. Wow. Yeah. They, They're finally um, legal. Yeah, so, and the food there is very delicious. Um, they, on Wednesdays, they mm -hmm. uh, have, every Wednesday, they have jazz. They have jazz at the, at the 6 o'clock hour from yeah. 6 to 9. Okay. Um, and they offer a, a nice happy hour um, from 5, from 5 to 8, and then Tuesdays through Friday from 3 to 8 happy hour. Oh, yeah, we, you know, it's down the street from the office here. We've been known to kick off early and stumble out of uh, Brooklyn Moon when happy hour is over. Very happy. But Fusion East, what's up with them? Yeah, Fusion East is our, is our next one. Uh, we, we featured them uh, on about a year ago. Uh, Fusion, another Caribbean restaurant. Caribbean soul food. Yeah, Caribbean and soul food yeah. uh, out in East New York on uh, Elton, out in Elton Street, out by, uh, by the Gateway Mall. Right. Uh, great food, great atmosphere. It's a great um, room. Um, also, this um, February um, 21st, they're going to be doing uh, artists. They're going to be doing artists um, uh, for Black History Month, and you can meet the artists. And today, um, this evening at the 6 o'clock hour, um, the the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce is going to be doing a network mixer there this evening. So you may want to peek in on that. Oh, that's good. Bring your resume. And a firm handshake. The Chamber of Commerce is out at Fusion East. And finally, we got Ray's. Yeah, Ray's With is the a W, W-R-A-Y-S. Right, correct. Another Caribbean restaurant here in Fort Greene, Brooklyn, section of Brooklyn. Um, it's, um, the atmosphere, the layout is between two brick walls. Mm -hmm. um, they offer uh, great drinks, um, happy hour. Uh, the proprietor there is very warm and friendly. Uh, so you need to poke your head in there as well. Yeah. Uh, Caribbean theme, theme food um, daily. Very cool. Yes. So uh, best happy hour in Brooklyn. Say that again. The best happy hour yeah, in Brooklyn. You can't go wrong. Well, I'm asking wrong. you for yours. If you had to, all of your kids here are on the list. If you had to pick a happy hour in Brooklyn where we'd most likely find you on the bar stool, where would you be? Yeah, I would be at Brooklyn Moon. Okay. Yeah, Brooklyn Moon. The, the food there is, like I said, is very sensational. Mm -hmm. um, you can't go wrong. But you know, you still want to like switch up every now yeah. and then. Yeah. 21 um, years later, they got to be doing something right. In absolutely. For happy hour. That's that's what have me there as but well. But you've got a lot of great new places to try out on your list as well. So thanks for coming by. Thanks for having me. Let people know where they can get online with Brooklyn Buzz. Yes, we're at uh, www.brooklynbuzz.com. And um, just check it out. I mean, we're we going to be doing a, a few great things for 2016. We're going to be doing um, working with the Soul Summit Music Festival here in Fort Greene, Brooklyn. Top of the That's, hill. They're going to be, um, this is going to be their 15th year. Um, as well as we're going to be working, doing um, events with uh, JIG Media, um, as well as we're going to be out at Coney Island where they, um, where they play music on the boardwalk, different DJs. That's going to be 11 seasons, and they're going to feature this DJ, um, The Real, Curve and Mark. Um, so that's going to be, like, very, very um, something to look forward to forward to, and um, we're going to be on board with Fashion Week Brooklyn this year. They're oh, going to be celebrating cool. 10 years, so um, this May and September, um, we're going to be a part of that, as well as JIG Media, so it's going to be great. So um, we, we ask in all of our um, subscribers and, mm -hmm. and viewers just to check out the site. All right, you heard it here first, folks. There's got a lot of stuff over at Brooklyn Buzz to keep you busy all year. Thanks for coming by again. Thanks for having me we'll once again. We'll see you soon with more buzzworthy things. Yes, we will.